So Gallagher Premiership Rugby new season is up and running. Um, what's been the main focus this week going into the, the game against Leicester Tigers? I think the focus the first is just um, you know we've been just stay on our system and and you know just try um, make them force them make mistake in their own half and and tucking them in a in a midfield and you know play to what we how we played last weekend and just pick it up a little bit and and hopefully we'll we'll go down and and beat Leicester there again. So we're going into the game after the the loss to the defending champions last week. Uh, very creditable performance and frustration within the squad that we didn't take something from it. Where were the Falcons particularly strong and how can they use that this weekend down at Welford Road? I think we <coughs> keeping the ball, keeping the ball in our hands and and you know, lessen up the, the mistakes and individual mistakes and, you know, skills and individual skills. Um, you know, giving holding a ball and force them to play uh, make mistake in their own half and then, you know, we we start play in um our forward pack so Oh, we got some some intelligent, um, you know, finished outside outside backs and you know the wingers and centers and you know I think we're gonna keep on that and and um, take it down. We'll go down the list and, and and use it on them and hopefully we'll come with a win. You mentioned earlier there that win last season, so we can't really preview this weekend's match without that. I mean, it was. It's well documented, it was the first time in 20 years that we'd taken a win down at Welford Road, all that sort of stuff about it. What was it like being involved in, in a game of that magnitude at that point of the season? Um, well, I didn't know I didn't know we haven't beaten Leicester in like 20 years. Um, obviously, we just went down there to, to beat Leicester, to to stay in, to get that, that playoff uh, last season. Um, I know it was, it was a good feeling to win the match. Uh, especially a big team, and to get their last kick at the end, it was, it was, uh, and it was, it was just good to see the boys, um, the happiness in their faces, and the supporters that you know they always travel down um, every week and every away game. So it was just good to see the smile on their face and make them happy. And it, you know, well, it was a massive team effort to get there. But as you've just said, so the, the the final two crucial points came down to to you and your your trusty boot there, and. Uh, I think there's a little bit of a story there. It wasn't quite as straightforward as it seems by all accounts. <laughs> no, I um, I didn't take my kicking tee. I, I obviously used used two kicking tee to 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 kick that last conversion. Um, I wasn't. I came off the bench and before I, I was warming up, Marco was um, saying if if I can take the kick just in case that we will get into that situation. And sure enough, they. Ali Hogg scored and Marco asked me if I can which tee I want so I say just bring both kick kicking kick tee in so I got uh, I think it was uh, Brett's kicking tee and and Juan's kicking tee so I just put them together and and one on the top of the other and just make it like you know the same height as my own kicking tee. <laughs> um, I was confident enough I wasn't I wasn't pressure at all um, so yeah I just went through my routine on, on my kicking so uh, and I nailed it and I was I look up and everyone was on was happy so it was good. But if you're going down this weekend you're gonna pack your own. Um learn to take my kicking tea no matter what. <laughs>